In this lecture, we are going to discuss a very important theorem in group theory. So I will write down the statement of that theorem. Every group of prime order is cyclic. So as soon as the group has order prime, we are going to immediately declare that the group must be a cyclic group. So if order of G is P, where P is a prime, then I can immediately declare that this group is generated by some single element. That is the uh, group is what? That is a group becomes a cyclic group. Okay. So now let us see how to prove this theorem. It's very simple proof. So, but a very important observations here. So what we will do is we will let S to be the collection of all the powers of an element A in G. Okay, where this A is uh, not the identity element. Because if A is identity, then this will be identity raised to N and you will just get a singleton set. Okay, where A is not identity. I will mention it in the set itself. So clearly this set S is not the singleton set identity okay so this means s is a proper subset of is a s will contain more than one elements okay s is a prop singleton identity is a proper subset of s and s is a subset of g i'm collecting all the powers of a where a is some element which is not identity okay now this s which is a collection of all powers of A. This S with respect to the operation of G is not only a subset, but it is also a subgroup. We have proved this in our earlier classes. So this becomes a subgroup of G. Now what is the order of G? Order of G by our assumption is P, which is a prime number. This means G is a finite set with P elements. G is a finite group with P elements. And S is a subgroup of G. So as soon as I see that the group is finite and you have a subgroup of that group, then I can use Lagrange's theorem. So by Lagrange's theorem, I can say that order of S must divide order of G. Okay, this is by Lagrange's theorem because S is a subgroup of G, right? Therefore, I can now say that order of S divides P because order of G is a what? Order of G is P. But P is a prime. P is a prime number. So what are the possibilities of this number? What can this number be? What are the factors of P? What are the factors of a prime number? This means that order of S is either one or order of S is P itself. What is the meaning of order of S equal to one? The meaning of order of S equal to one means S has 
only one element and what is the meaning of order of s equal to p means s has p elements s has only one element means s must be how much s must be a singleton set and what is that singleton set what must be inside that singleton set it's an identity because s is a subgroup we have already written that s is a subgroup so s has to be a singleton id set which is singleton e or s has p elements means s has p elements and how many elements does the group have the group also has p elements s is a subgroup of g means s is a subset of g g has p elements and now s is also having p elements so what can you say about s and g can s be uh, smaller than g no s also has p elements the original group also has p elements so the only option left with me is that in this case s has to be equal to what s has to be equal to g but this is not possible this option is not possible this is not possible because initially itself we have written that s cannot be equal to identity right this is not possible since s cannot be equal to identity why s cannot be equal to identity because a was not identity therefore s was an a set with more than one element so s cannot be so this is not possible therefore only this is possible therefore this is this is possible right so s is equal to g but what is s let us write what is s but s is nothing but set of all a belonging to g such uh, set of all sorry what is set s s is it is nothing but all a is to n where a belongs to g is equal to g and what is the and what is the n n here is integer okay i'm taking all positive and negative powers of a okay and that is g and this means that this g is this is the definition of what this is the definition of cyclic group generated by a and therefore we have proved that our group is nothing but cyclic group generated by a means a actually turned up to be what a actually turned up to be the generator who was this a this a was any a i picked up any a and only condition on that a was that that a should not be equal to identity so what happened in this group is that if that group has a prime order then if i pick any element which is not identity that element will automatically become what that element will automatically become the generator of this group and the group will become cyclic so we have proved that any prime order group must be a cyclic group so for example if you pick up any group of order 2 3 5 7 all these groups are cyclic right so if the order of the group is not prime number so if the group is of uh, if we take a group of order 4 order of group is 4 then what can we say about this group is g cyclic now clearly i cannot apply the above theorem because above theorem talks only about what only about prime numbers prime orders it does not tell you anything about composite orders so what about uh, the group if the order of group is 4 now we know that uh, there are two uh, if i look at this group 0 bar 1 bar 2 bar 3 bar so this is z4 with respect to addition modulo 4 this group is actually cyclic and the generator of this group is what this group the generator of this group is 1 bar so this group is called turns out to be cyclic if i pick up uh, the group uh, if if i take uh, the group as 1 minus 1 i minus i 
okay then this group with respect to the multiplication operation this group is also cyclic and the generator of this group is what the generator of this group is i so this group again becomes cyclic but uh, if you take the group which is your uh, Klein's four group which is v4 then that group contains four elements e a b c then this group uh, in this group every element is its own inverse right so a is a inverse b is b inverse c is c inverse and therefore it means that a square will be identity b square will also be identity and c square will also be identity in this case uh, the highest power will not reach the, the third fourth power all elements won't be generated so neither a is generator neither b is generator neither c is generator so this means that this Klein's four group which is v4 is actually what it is not cyclic okay so if the group has order four the group may be cyclic or may not be cyclic okay uh, for if I take or uh, if, if I take second example, if I take a group of order six, okay, again, this is a composite number, right? So what can you say about order six then? Then the group has two options. I can choose group to be Z6 addition modulus six. In this case, the group will become cyclic and the generator is one bar. But I can take the group also equal to what? I can take S3 with respect to the composition operation. In this case, we know that we know that this that, uh, this group is uh, what s3 is non abelian correct so if if a group is non abelian it is not cyclic so here in order 6 case also what has happened the group which is a which is a composite order group so that group is again a non cyclic order so uh, so so the theme of this particular lecture was that if a group is of prime order, then the group is always cyclic. But if the group is composite, then it may happen that the group is cyclic or it may happen that the group is non-cyclic.